What's up guys, Shadow Dragonic here bringing you yet another Let's Play. This one I'm not so sure exactly how long this one's going to go on for. A um, couple things I want to throw out there. Um, first off, I realized that um, you know I'm kind of throwing a bunch of different Let's Plays out there at once. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put um, you know the other two that I have going on on hold, which would be Dark Souls and... Uh, Arc, Arc was kind of a trial type thing. I'm not even sure if I'm actually gonna do a let's play of that. I might, but um, some things kind of went on with that game, and I wasn't too thrilled with it. So this is Elder Scrolls Online, obviously, and I have been wanting to play this game for quite a while. Now, this is an MMO, uh, MMO RPG, so I'm not really sure how. Or I'm going to get into this, and I kind of want to say this is almost like a test run in itself. Um, I might throw a couple episodes out there just to see what you guys think, I guess, and I might continue on, but like I said, I'm, I'm more or less trying to find something to keep myself occupied until Destiny 2 comes out and I can start throwing those videos out again. So I apologize for those of you who are like wanting to see Destiny videos and stuff, but I haven't gotten bored with Destiny at all. It's just, you know, I I don't know. I need a break. I needed a break from Destiny, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to find something to preoccupy myself until Destiny 2 comes out. Um, you know, I'm trying to stay away from all the, the Destiny 2 content that they're throwing out there just so I can end up doing Destiny 2 blind like I did Destiny 1. So, um, I enjoy doing blind Let's Plays, obviously, and people tend to like watching people do blind let's plays um it's kind of frustrating and entertaining for them to watch at the same time so with the elder scrolls online this is 100 percent blind i have <laughs> i've not seen anything about this game i haven't read up on it i haven't even seen any footage of this game so this one compared to destiny is really going to be blind and the fact that it's an mmo I'm going to apologize now if there's server issues. I have no control over server issues, obviously. I really have no control over any kind of lag issues. So, um, you know, if the, if the game decides to, you know, throw a, a faulty server out there and the game just kind of stops, you know, obviously I'll, I'll be stopping and starting Let's Play or the Let's Play, you know, as it goes along. So I'm going to apologize ahead of time for that. And, um, what else did I want to say? Oh, right. Being that it's an MMO, um, there's probably going to be a lot of grinding involved uh, at certain spots, you know, of me just trying to level up my character and stuff. I'm going to kind of skip that part for you guys because that would be completely freaking boring for you guys to watch that. I mean... Uh, if you guys ultimately end up wanting to see that kind of stuff, I guess I can throw that in there, but I'm pretty sure nobody wants to watch grinding happen. It's pretty boring and repetitive. But, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started here because I'm kind of excited to play this game. Server select North America or Europe. We are in North America. Welcome to the Elder Scrolls Online on the North American Xbox. One mega server. Uh, homestead and patch 1.7.2 are now available. Nearly 40 homes are available to purchase, and you can furnish each with over 2,000 decorative items to make it uniquely yours. Step up to decide the fate of Morrowind and turn the iconic island. Right, that's, um, yeah, that's like a new part of the game, I guess, um, Morrowind was just announced not that long ago, and I don't even think it's out yet, I think it's still for pre-order, but, um, 
you know, I don't have 60 bucks, obviously, because I kind of spent it on this, but... Right, so we can do a... Is that a... S oh, okay. Never mind. All right, let's go ahead and play. Adjust the area. Okay. Ah, I see. So the corners are still visible on your screen. Okay, they are still visible on my screen, so we will save that. Adjust the brightness. Uh, the middle logo above should be barely visible. What's kind of funny though is I'm comparing my TV screen to the recording screen. On my TV screen, I can't see the one all the way to the right at all. It's completely black, but yet on my recording screen, I can actually see it. That one's barely visible, and the one in the middle is about as visible as the one on the right. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but let's um we'll just just the brightness. Yeah, that works. Because I want you guys to be able to see it, and obviously I want to be able to see it too. So if it's darker on my screen than it is on um, on the recording, then it's really going to be dark on my end. So, uh, user and license agreement. Yeah, we agree. Right, so I gotta create an account. Um, right, I don't have an account, so we will create one. Okay, so I have to use um, all this stuff. Right, select country we are in. The United States, all the way at the bottom. Uh, yes, I am over the age of 13, thank you. Sign up for Bethesda? No, I don't care. Right, so I'm gonna skip this part because of kinda confidentiality type things. So I will be right back. The storm is coming. The scent of war swirls in the air. The Imperial throne lies empty. And three great alliances fight to claim it. Evil awakens. A long vanished foe stirs. Those who would destroy Tamriel seek out dangers to their dark plot. And so death's long arm reaches out. It is the 582nd year of the Second Era. The drums of war are sounding. This is where our journey begins. So yeah, anyway, welcome back, guys. I got all that stuff out of the way and was waiting to for this screen to come up and I decided to throw a cutscene at me, which was actually a pretty badass cutscene. So, 
character creation, this is probably going to go into some serious freaking detail. Um. Right, so we have... Interestingly enough, we only have three races to choose from. Um, had I bought, like, the special edition $100 package, which I wasn't going to do at all, um, you could play as the Imperial, and you get all sorts of, like, extra Imperial goodies and whatnot. So, alright. Alliance. Daggerfall Covenant. Given Heart Pact. Um... Okay, interesting. Uh, believing only they can counter the threat of Tamriel, the Elder Races have... Oh, okay, so we do have more um, classes than just three. It depends on your alliance. Interesting. Well, to be honest, then, I'm probably going to go with um, the Ebonheart Pact. Hmm, do I want to play as a Dark Elf? Or do I want to play as a Nord? Yeah, let's stick with Nord. Dragonite, these skillful masters at arms, use the ancient Akavari martial arts tradition of battle spirit and wield fearsome magic that pounds, shatters, and physically alters the world around them. That sounds interesting. Uh, sorcerer, no. Nightblade. Nightblades are adventurers and opportunists with a gift for getting in and out of trouble. Relying various, uh, variously on stealth blades and speed, nightblades thrive on conflict and misfortune. Uh, trusting their luck and cunning to survive. So it's almost like a thief or ninja-ish. Templar. These traveling knights call upon the powers of light and the burning sun to deal massive damage to their enemies while restoring health, magicka, and stamina to their allies. obviously a sorcerer. That's kind of self-explanatory. Now, what I want to do is... Uh, man, what do I want to do? I'm going to go with Nightblade, because... Quite honestly, I want my character to kind of be a, a thief uh, slash you know, assassin type character. So, yeah, we'll go with Nightblade. Uh, large, muscular. Um, whoa. <laughs> Let's kind of go middle of the road, I guess. A bit more towards the muscular end. That's good. 
height, I'll stick with that. Skin color, stick with that. Body marking, body marking, huh? Well, you can't really see anything there, so. Torso size, chest size, guts, it's all fine. I'm not gonna. Posterior dimensions. Right, how's your ass look? Um. Head type. Heroic. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's fine. Age. Adornment. Alright, we can go with a beard. Do I really want a beard? I don't think I really want a beard, but... A mustache. Yeah, we can go with that. That's cool. Uh, hairstyle. What is up with all these weird-ass bald styles? Really, a whole lot of uh, hairstyles to choose from here. Yeah, I guess I'll go with that. That's all right. Hair color. Interesting. Uh, let's go. Is it black. There you go. Head marking. Oh, okay, it's like whoa. It's creepy. Not really sure. I want a head marking. Maybe a scar or something. Kinda cool, I guess. Forehead slope, I don't care about that. Cheekbone size, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Ear tip flare. All right, well. Voice, huh? Can I not hear the voice? Oh, test voice. Ah! <laughs> color um I 
I says fine, fine. My god, so much detail. Everything seems good, really. So let's just go ahead and finish. Okay, so that's interesting. So we can still choose a name. Um, it's not gonna use uh, my screen name, apparently. Or my gamer tag. Um. Hmm. Didn't really give it much thought, because I figured it was just gonna use my gamer tag. So... See if uh, if it's taken or not. For anybody who doesn't know what Reaver is, it uh, it stands for stealing or taking taking by force. So that's kind of a a good name to go for, seeing as um, you know I, I tend to be a thief or a, an assassin. Error. Name already in use. Son of a right. Hmm. Of course it would be. How about... Can I use spaces? Reaver. Nice. All right. Wailing prison. Tamriel is gone. You're going someplace else. Someplace far from the world you know. Someplace wrong. All right. Maybe it's a tutorial world. Now this is really interesting because it is a Thieves Guild added to deal right, all my DLC stuff. I got all the DLC with the gold package, so yeah, there we go, the Dark Brotherhood, that's what I'm gonna be going for. Uh Alamino horse added to mounts. Okay. Started. Soul shriven in. I didn't read that in time. Find a way to escape Cold Harbor. All right. So first off, what's interesting is the fact that this is a. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just kind of looking around because the dog is looking curiously. Give me one second. Okay, apologies for that. Just wanted to make sure that there wasn't anybody here because the dog was kind of looking curiously at the door. Um, so yeah, the first thing that comes to mind is the fact that this is a first-person view uh, MMO, which is interesting. I mean, this is pretty much like Skyrim, so 
If this is going to be like Skyrim but online, that's pretty Whoa. awesome. Are you all right? Who me? The name's Lyris. Back away from that. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything uh, value inside that prison. Something tells me I didn't, but. Press A to loot objects in the world. Yes, that's kind of obvious. What am I looking to loot? Um, I could take skulls, apparently. I don't know what taking skulls will do, but I'll take them. Little weapon from the Dramora. Okay, so A is also jump. So A is loot and A is also jump. That's good to know. Okay, she's over at the dead Dramora. <clears throat> oh, excuse my throat. Really see anything else worth taking? I'm not sure what those skulls were are going to be used for, but I'm assuming they're used for something, considering I can take them. Yes, I'm getting there. All right, so for more churl. All right, let's search. Cast off iron great sword. All right, we'll take that. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. Uh, RT to ready a weapon. Alright. What's interesting is I can't take anything else from any of these other... Any of these other corpses, at least I don't think so. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. So I apologize. Oh, that guy's still alive? Alright, well... So that's block. What is going on here? Defeat prison guard. Keep moving. There are more Daedra on the way. Can I not take anything from this dude? Let's keep moving. Oh, he just kind of vanishes. All right. That I kind of don't like. I see the the reason that they do that. But that, um, I don't want to say it takes away from the realism of the game, but the, the whole vanishing, you know, dead stuff. Like I said, I understand why they do it. It's to kind of keep the servers free, but let's go. Keep the lag down. Don't stop now. Keep moving. More guards are on the way. the prison guards. RT to charge heavy attack. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's like a super heavy attack. Let's get out of here, my friend. Two-handed increase. Greeting, Lesson. Like you, I am a prisoner in this place. You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. Hold a moment. Come here. Crawlers. Bait for fishing. All right. I'll take that. Obviously, there's going to be a whole lot of uh, mini stuff to be going on you know, on the side. Search the cage. Bone. Worms. Gnawed bone. An ingredient for crafting in the Bosmer style. Fishing. Sold to the merchant for gold. Well, gold is gold, after all. Even if it is just a little gold, we'll take all the fishing stuff. Every little bit of gold helps.
cages, can they be checked? No, it doesn't look like they can be checked. Alright, well... All these were checked already. The Prophet! He's a prisoner here too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Help you do what? Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Temriel's a long way from here. Uh, where do we go from here? These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. Uh, what are these Sentinels? Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. Okay, so how do we destroy it? I have no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Bal left the Sentinels unguarded. I have so many questions. I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. All right, uh, who is the prophet? He's a strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things, the past, the future. And what is this place and where am I? You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. Interesting. So we're technically in hell. Or we're in Oblivion, it would seem. I would assume Cold Harbor is a part of Oblivion, seeing as there are Dremor around and, uh, you know. So then how are we having this conversation? I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of Oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. If I'm dead, who killed me? A man named Menomarco. His worm cult is doing some kind of ritual back in Tamriel. They sacrificed you and everyone in this prison to the Daedric Prince Molag Bal. After you died, whatever was left showed up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. Interesting. It means you're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here in Cold Harbor, working under the lash of the Daedra. Unless, of course, you come with me. Huh. Interesting. Are you dead too? No, I wasn't sacrificed. The Prophet and I were brought here... conventionally, if that makes any sense. But we're prisoners here, same as you. Interesting. How can we rescue the Prophet? It won't be easy. The place is watched by magical constructs called Sentinels. We won't stand a chance unless we can blind them. I'll tell you more when we get there. And we'll never get there if we don't get moving. Right. All right, so let's get moving then. We should keep moving. So we are indeed in some part of Oblivion. I'll just get behind him then and he doesn't seem to be, um... There you go. Well played, friend. Marquez Beard, you are good in a fight. Um... The God of Brutality knows of your escape. Hurry! Gain one skill point. Okay, so let's get into this real quick. Um, wow, I'm wearing like nothing. Look like a scarecrow. Uh, five notifications. Um, level up. Uh, health, magicka, or stanima. Um, determines how many stanima abilities you can use and how effective these abilities will be. Sprint, bash, sneak, roll, dodge, and break free. All consume stanima. The amount of damage you can take in combat, and how much healing you can receive. 
Health recovers over time. That recovery is reduced during combat. Right, so I think first and foremost what I will go for is quite obviously health. Uh, character skills. Skill lines allow you to customize your combat style to fight the way you want. Uh, you can select abilities to learn more about what they do. Select an ability and press A to purchase the ability. Uh, active, active abilities can be slotted in your ability bar, which are fired by pressing X, Y, B, L, B, and R, B. Uh, passive abilities are always active, granting you their benefits at all times. Ultimate abilities are the most powerful abilities and can be fired by pressing L, B, and R, B. Okay. Assassin... Oh, uh, wait. Okay. So we have assassination with assassin's blade. Okay, so there's like, um... Alright, alright, I see. Teleport strike, blur, mark target, grim focus. Shadow, uh, consuming darkness. Shadow Cloak, which would probably be, my guess would be like invisibility. Uh, Aspect of Terror, Path of Darkness, Siphoning, uh, Two Handed, uh, One Handed and Shield, and Dual Wield, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to end up dual wielding and using the bow uh, the most. So I think what I should do here is let's go with. I only have a couple of these unlocked uh, for the moment. Oh, metalworking, huh? Blacksmithing will probably come in handy uh, quite a lot. There's so much stuff to go for here. Right, let's go with uh, assassination and we'll go with. Well, what does Veiled Strike do? Field Strike, cast time is uh, instant target enemy, range 5 meters, cost, costs magic enough. Okay. Um, slash enemy dealing 3,361 magic damage. Uh, attacking with Field Strike, while stealth or invisible stuns the enemy and sends them off balance for 4 seconds. That's interesting. Uh, how about assassination? Uh, assassination. Instant. Okay, so this is interesting because even though... Um, Even though I didn't choose a magic type character, uh, stuff still costs magic. So, special skills and stuff will still cost magic, which is interesting to say the least. <clears throat> uh, thrust a magic blade with lethal precision to stab an enemy dealing 1,683 magic damage. Deals 300% more damage to targets at or below 25% health. So it's good for finishing off enemies, really. We'll go with Assassin's Blade, because, uh, nice. That will come in handy. The ability you purchase has been added to the first slot of your ability bar. Press X to use this ability. Alright. So I'll give that a test try uh, as soon as I get to it. Right, so it says I have notifications here. What are these? Uh, DL right, all the DLC notifications. That's fine. And mounts. Right. That's all stuff I already know about. Uh, search take that stuff. Now, like I said, I apologize. This is, you know, this is still tutorial level and I am still kind of wandering around, uh, you know, looking for stuff. Obviously, I want to take all this fishing stuff because that's stuff I'll probably be doing off screen. Probably take those bones too, but I really don't want to. I'm sure it's a pretty common item to find, you know, later on. Worms, no bone. Alright, then I assume we go through here. 
into the Wailing Prison. Uh, you cannot use that door right now. Okay. Alright, I'm lost. Where do I... Or is that where we came from? We came from that way, didn't we? Duh. So we gotta go this way. Duh, follow the marking. The Tower of Eyes. Zanel Theran and... Oh, God of Steam can see every part of the harbor. We need to distract him. We're going to accomplish this objective. Uh, uh, get lost. Press. Uh, Alright, so we have to destroy the Cold Harbor set. What was your name again? Practice? Oh, okay. <laughs> so why are you following me? What are you doing? Assassin's Blade increased rank too, but I didn't even use it. Uh, Sip of Health, a Garnet Necklace. Um, can I equip? Where's my equipment? Uh, gotta level up again? Really? Interesting. Uh, let's go. Stanima. Two-handed uppercut. I'll tell you what, since we're using it, I could go Assassin's Blade 2, huh? Assassin Blade. That's right. Rawhide scraps. I would assume that's used for, um... Right, I need to come over here. Oh, okay. I see what happened. Okay, that's why I kept saying I had, uh, I didn't actually put that point into my health like I wanted to. Okay, I was a little confused there. Search the urn. Lock picks. They will be handy. So it's nice that dead enemies, um, that are actually holding stuff, they kind of have an aura around them. They glow. Oh. Sack, and Kyberry, sure, why not? There's still something else I could interact there with. What was I seeing? What was that? Okay, that wasn't just me, right? There was something that appeared there. Oh, it was her.
recipe. Uh, jasmine tea. Okay. Now my guess would be that's like an uncommon item, which is why it was green. Alright, turtle. Rawhide boots. So how do I get this stuff? Do I go into inventory? Um, inventory houses all the equipment supplies, consumables, plus items, and crafting materials for characters accumulated throughout their journey. Okay, I'm just selecting. Okay. About, uh. Main hand. Feet. Put those rawhide boots on. They will be better. Legs. Waist. Iron girdle. It's heavy armor, but that's okay. It'll. It's a little bit of defense. Right, so I have a main hand and an off hand. So do I want to switch to Iron Dagger? Increases physical and spell resistance. Interesting. I'm definitely going to switch to that. Slotable items. Sip of health. Uh, use quick slots to easily access potions and other items. Navigate to your character's inventory and select consumables. Click an item and press X. Can activate quick slot, hold to bring up quick slot, select desired item. Okay, so. The sign. Ah, uh, okay, I got it. I got you. I got you. So if I push up. Okay, alright, I got you. So I'm just searching for more stuff. Anything it takes, really, at this point. It's empty. It's a shame. A big urn there. More lockpicks. They will come in handy. Search the crates. Jasmine. Alright. They seem quite angry. Oh, more urns. Empty, empty. Still something else there to interact with. Unless it was just her again. Alright, I'm guessing we want to go that way. Oh. Are you vomiting on me? Really? You skeeving hawkers. Right, you dropped nothing. I guess this is just kind of experience at this point. I'm gonna try and get behind. Search. Fleshy larva. Alright, it's an uncommon item, I would assume. Heavy armor increases to two. Assassination increased to three. That interact? Okay, interact with her. Let's search this urn for mint. Okay. Oh, nice. So it's it's good I came back this way because there's a chest back here. Oh god, he's, he's well, he almost threw up on me. Larva. Let's search this chest. Another iron dagger. So I can dual wield now, which is pretty nice. Another lockpick. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's dual wield. Offhand. Second iron dagger. Nice. So we got the whole assassin thing going on already. I am thrilled. Now, how does. Oh, okay. So you can still block the two daggers. How's power attack work? 
Oh, okay. Nice. Right. Now, this is where I came from, right? Because those are all... Yeah, those were all checked already. That's where I came from. So, let's take these guys out. Come here, you. Right, there's a um, clan fear over there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Six gold and fleshy larva. I want to take out this uh, clan fear. Now, clan fears don't seem that threatening, or at least these ones don't, probably because they're tutorial clan fears. Ooh, nice sip of health and a Daedra husk. My guess would be it's because it's a tutorial. fears in um, hit like oblivion and stuff are pretty uh, they can be feared that might have been a fair fight if there were three of you all right he's dual wielding so I should probably watch out for his attack He's not that, not that strong. Uh, search urn, rawhide belt. Now, I should probably equip that because that's light armor, which is what I um, should honestly be wearing. So let's go to inventory. Waste rawhide built. It's medium armor. So it's not going to protect me as much, but it'll increase my, um, it'll increase my medium armor. These guys are all kind of creepy. Alright, so we want to be heading up that way. Um, like I said, I'm going to do some, uh, off searching. Frog. Oh, really an enemy? Guts bait for fishing. That's kind of gross, but okay. Kill the poor frog. Hello, Dremora Kate. I actually got that block up in time. That was kind of nice. An assassin blade. This is the path where you bleed to death. So we leveled up again, and we gained a skill point. There's another clan fear over there. Ash. All right. Clan fear has spotted me. Okay, so it actually shows their area of effect when they when he does the tail swing. There's actually a big circle on the ground that shows. Um, That shows the area of the area of effect. Odd bone, silver one gold. More lock picks. More lock picks. More mint. All of which I'll find the the meaning of you know soon enough. Obviously they're all crafting materials, so. I would assume rise for bread. Probably a basic healing item. Lock picks are self explanatory. Wow, 
Wow, that didn't kill you. Interesting. Lock pick. Alright, so there's ores here. Or at least they think they're ores. These guys are... are picking at what seemed like ore. I said I apologize you know if this uh, <clears throat> this first video is obviously gonna be pretty long until we get through the tutorial part so it might end up being you know over an hour long since we're already at uh, 48 minutes and counting so there's another frog where did I see that frog so like I said I, I apologize I mean it is a tutorial level obviously and I don't want to miss anything that I could possibly grab from here so frog oh there it is Come here frog oh, is he one of sorry oh Did that okay hurt? that's another dude it looked painful want to miss anything that would be worth picking up because everything at this point is worth picking up just because you know I'm a beginner at the game and everything is kind of worthwhile obviously without exploring I wouldn't have found these daggers and wouldn't be able to get my two-handed up or not two-handed my uh, dual wield all right so what's back here an accessible door unlock trivial Right, so this is lock picking. Cannot use that door right now. But it says unlock trivial. I would assume that's a lock pickable door. Why it's telling me I can't use it right now, I don't know. It'd be a perfect time for a uh, lock pick tutorial. So it looks like enemies and stuff respawn after a while, which is typical of an MMO. Mint. Search barrels. Recipe. Uh, ginkgo tonic. Alright. for barley backpack natural water um, makes a level three potion okay we'll take that water then okay there's a helmet and a maul stuff that can be sold I'm gonna go ahead and uh Okay, um... Hmm, plus 111. We'll go with Stanima for now. Commit points, yes. Let's go inventory, head, rawhide helmet. There we go. Starting to look a little bit more professional, I suppose. We can 
you some gauntlets and pants and a shirt. Oh, right, I had that necklace, too. Garnet necklace. This item sells to merchants for 280% more. All right, so that's just a, a sellable item. It seems like it doesn't really do anything. So we'll keep that in our inventory. Slottable item, materials, supplies. Um, use. So if I use this, will it just kind of go into um, my inventory then? I would assume. You learned how to make ginkgo tonic. Okay, so it does. It just goes into my... Uh, currencies, gold. Vouchers, lines, points, teleport stones. Okay. Slottable items. It's already slotted. All right. That looks like... It's like a grindstone. Takes that rye. Empty bottle, no. Take drink. Red rye beer. Uh, spoiled food. I'm gonna... Oh, I can't take the bottles. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I'll take those empty bottles and maybe fill them with water or something. Ginkgo. Jasmine. Let's, um, I think we could probably start heading off to where we need to go. Because it doesn't really look like there's much of anything else here to, uh, oh, never mind. Look at that, a chest. Another iron dagger. Well, I could sell that. Let's go where we're actually supposed to go here. Finding lots of iron daggers now. Which is great for my guy. This kind of looks like a little secretish path back here. Alright. Try to be inconspicuous. Just got free of this plate. Need us to get recaptured. Well, you can definitely tell I'm doing a lot more damage. Well, not a lot more damage, but I am doing more damage. You know they're ugly when an axe Freeze. in the face is an improvement. Makes level three poison, huh? Interesting. Now, did it not just say for me to come up here? Wow, he actually knocked me over. Oh, gee. Ooh, a Daedra heart. I could have swore it told us to come up here. Oh, right, that must be the Sentinel. Destroy Cold Harbor Sentinel. A 
perform a sneak attack. Press R to sneak. Okay. Well, hidden, press right trigger to perform a sneak attack. Oh god, please don't look. Please don't look. Sneak attack, sneak attack! Alright. Quickly, while he's blinded, we must get to the prophet's cell. Okay, well, let's go. You lead the way. I don't know where the freaking cell is. Oh, okay, I guess we we'll go that way. Fool! You will never escape my realm. Hermamora's whacking tongue. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. All right, so um, guess we just talk now. Damn it! Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. All right, who's Cadwell? Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral, but not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. All right, how can a madman possibly help us? Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home, and he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. Okay. Oh, we are down by the river. Come here, frog. Drop nothing. One fine day in the middle of the night, two dead kings got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other. Hello, Drew Cadwell. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. <laughs> okay, he's got a freaking pot on his head. All right, you must be Cadwell. Sir Cadwell, yes, indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you, then? Uh, we're trying to get inside the Prophet's cell. The door is sealed. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Yeah, sounds wonderful. How do we get through all that? Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. They'll like us not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Sounds like fun. Where's the entrance? Follow the river. You'll find the door to the Undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light, and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the Prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Insane Cadwell. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Sure. How do you know Lyris? Ah, Lyris. Girls as mad as she Gorus jammies. Heart's in the right place, I suppose. Says she's got to rescue the Prophet to save us all from eternal torment. How an old blind man could do that is quite beyond me. Uh, what do you know about the Prophet? An Imperial gentleman. Apparently he was once a powerful mage, but the years haven't been kind. Lyris says he knows of a path back to Tamriel. I rather think that if one existed, I'd have found it by now. You don't think there's a way to get home? I haven't actually given it much thought. Uh, anything's possible, I suppose. Truth is, I've been here so long, this place feels like home. But a good uprising now and again is a pleasant diversion, so where's the harm, eh? All right. I don't really care that much to, to know about uh, Cadwell. I mean, I kind of do, but not think this undercroft is a delightful place. Right, so they said at the end of the river, which is where we were, I'm assuming it's that door. Okay. 
Right, the door that, um... Some chests and doors are locked. You have to lock pick in your inventory. Press A to attempt. Okay. The sooner you get that door open, the we can get out of here. Unlock trivial. Oh, they brought back the old lock pick style from Oblivion. Oh, we have a time limit, do we? Um... Right, uh, move lock pick. Depress pin. Ah, oh, this is quite interesting, to say the least. Huh. Okay, I'm a little confused. Hmm. Alright, so... Son of a... Force lock, 100%. I didn't want to force it, I wanted to try and actually pick it. That was kind of interesting. Okay. Oh, hello, creepy crawler. Perhaps I should. S well, that looks like a skeleton. And I'm hidden, which is good. Skeletal warrior. I don't think I can sneak up on him. I'm, I'm still hidden. He needs to turn his back so I can, like, assassinate him. There you go. Alright, my assassination attempt did not work on the skeleton. Are you gonna be nice and give me more? Now is that um is that just a regular sword? Like a long sword? Let's go to main hand uh iron sword. Nice, so I have a sword and dagger. Alright, cool. More froggies, apparently. Anything back here? Restoration staff. Alright. Be good for healing for that showed a key, didn't it? Did that not show a key down at the bottom? Natural water for making potions. Oh, nice, a bow. Good, good, good. However, I don't see any arrows except the one. Oh. Why can't I take those? Alright, that chest was opened already. Belts. Empty crate. Shield, if I want it. But seeing as I'm going to be dual wielding, it's not uh, really necessary. <laughs> There's a skeleton in the cage. How's it going, buddy? Seems quite disappointed that he can't get out. There's probably so much stuff I'm missing.
Alright, that guy's got a dog already. He obviously started out as an Imperial with the $100 package. Something I just wasn't willing to uh, toss my money out on. What was your name again? Target practice? Oh, me. Target practice for what? Oh, there's a chest back here. Sneakily hidden. Except it's empty. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Skeleton Ranger. Drop nothing. I guess we can help this dude out. We really wanted to. Just freaking beat on this guy. It's always nice to uh, co op with people. Oh, nice. A recipe? Take that. Okay, respawned awful quick. Damn, that's got some serious range to it. Come get some more, you skeeving hawkers. They do respawn awful fast. go to level up because I'm able to level up, am I not? Skills. Yeah, I do have a skill point. Uh, Two-handed. Uppercut. No. Dual wield. Flurry. Flood an enemy with steel, battering them with five consecutive attacks that each deal 421 physical damage. The final hit deals 300% more damage. Interesting. So we will put that on Y. Nice. Definitely get our, our dual wielding up. Rawhide Guards of Magicka. Wow, really? I got a, a Magicka uh, leggings. So I got <clears throat> uncommon leggings, I would assume they are. Uh, inventory. Legs. Add 704 maximum of Magicka. Reduces block cost by 2.5%. Not bad. Alright, so there are urns back here, which I want to kind of get back here. And that's empty. That's empty. That's empty. That was close. That. Profit sell. The profit's cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. All right. The good news is we made it here in one piece, and the profit looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. You're not going with.
Decorative wax? Wax harvester? Okay. Not sure what that's all about. Empty. I know, dude, you want to be freed, but I am searching around for stuff to take. Alright, that's where I came from, right? Empty. Empty. Okay. How do we, um, how do we free him? I guess I gotta go talk to her. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. What? That's crazy. There's no other way? Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Ball isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. All right, well, I'm ready whenever you are. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. All righty, well, goodbye, Lyris. Nice try. I'm no fool. You're a fool. Activate the pinions. Wait for the exchange. Freedom! Greetings, I Prophet. remember this feeling. It will be fitting, though, if no long while has his way. Thank the divines you are safe. There is that, at least. There is sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Uh, can we find a way to take her with us? I wish that were possible, but I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. Vestige? That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. Interesting. Uh, what does Lyris call you the Prophet? Or why? That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the Anchor. The Anchor? The Anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Heart. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it. All right. Stay close, then. Up the stairs, quickly. We must get to the anchor mooring. All right, let's go. Crazy blind old man. Oh my god. 
The mortal thinks it can defy me. Futile. Soon your world will be in my chains. This is going like Dark Souls shit right now. Oh my god. Thomas, I will protect you. Increases maximum health by 880. The strand was taken from the neck of the child of bones. It's surprisingly cold. I thought I was gonna have to fight that other dude. <laughs> he was huge. All right. Um. Let's go ahead and put that collar of bones on. Although it's not showing it's on. Interesting, but okay. Right, before we leave, I'm going to empty, 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 empty. Everything has been looted. It would be nice if somebody would have left something for me. It doesn't really look like there's anything um, anything of value left here. Everything's kind of been looted. All the chests are open and empty. All the urns are open and empty. So my guess is all this stuff is uh, tied together. I mean, obviously it's an MMO, but all this stuff is tied together, and um, if you don't get there before somebody else, I guess you're not getting anything. Which seems kind of crappy, but, um, you know, it's whatever. So where are we going now? I guess I gotta talk to the prophet. The dark anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nan in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a sky shard. A sky shard? A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nan. Some link them to Lorcan. The missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Alrighty, I'm ready whenever you are. Shard of Aphirius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect the sky shard. Already. Great Akatosh, dragon god of time, I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Moloch Val be denied. Hurry! We must go now! Right, well, <clears throat> that was interesting because it said collect shards uh, one of three, so 
not sure what the deal was with that. Bleak Rock Isle. The vestige awakens once again. Come here. We must speak. Okay. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a place with the smell of burning ash on a hot wind and the sounds of a distant battle. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. Uh, how long was I unconscious? Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. Interesting. So what should I do now? I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris' bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Murlog Ball. When will I see you again? I cannot foresee that. Not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Alright, so complete quest. Um, you will receive a sealed urn or a skill point. So do I have to... I have to choose here, huh? I'm not sure what the sealed urns do, and I know what the skill points do. Let's go with um, the sealed urn. Or maybe I get both. Do I get both? Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molog Ball looms across all the and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. Okay. Uh, where should I go? You must find your own path. But perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore. Search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. All right. Um, you think there are many that will need my help? Indeed. I sense that even now, there are good people near you who face grave danger. They need your assistance, should you be willing to give it. To thwart the will of Molag Bal, we must skirmish with evil wherever it rears its head. And there are others who would join me in this? We do not face these troubled times alone. Many shall rise up to fight this tide of darkness. Wherever you go, you will encounter others who share your courage and valor. Help them if you can, and enlist their aid if you have need of it. All right. Well, thank you very much, Prophet. All right. So, that shows experience down the corner, 679. All right. So, let's go to skills, obviously. I have a point to attribute. So, let's go for... Obviously, we'll put one point in each to start out with, and then from there, we will go to whatever. Uh, twin slashes. We have twin slashes unlocked. How about assassination? We have teleport strike. Hell yeah. We will go for teleport strike. Cast time instantly. Target enemy. Range 22 meters. Costs quite a bit of magicka. Uh, flash through the shadows and ambush an enemy dealing 2,545 magic damage and stunning them for two seconds. If the target is a player... They are briefly snared instead of being stunned. Alright. So I can change those up and reassign those, I'm assuming. Um. Medium armor. Uh, dexterity. Purchase for one skill point increases your weapon critical rating 
by 109 for each piece of medium armor equipped. This goes into qu uh, quite some freaking detail. Uh, soul magic, soul trap. Um, I should probably lay claim to enemy souls dealing. Okay. Fills an empty soul gem if an effective enemy affected enemy dies. Right. I'm going to um Hold on a second. Now it shows I have one point yet, right? Why can't I um That says world. Uh, siphoning. Strife. Shadow field strike. Death stroke. That's awesome. Um, field strike. Instantly. Spend one point uh, to purchase Field Strike. I don't know that I want to. I might actually hold on to that point. Because for whatever reason, I can't... Um, I can't do anything with this Soul Trap unless I already have it. Oh, it's an active... Active ability, okay. But, um. Your health drops below. Okay. Um. Blacksmithing allows you to use the use of iron ingots. Alright. Spend one skill point to purchase dexterity. Um. Uh, I don't have anything with a bow yet. Let's go with um, twin slashes. Slice an enemy with both weapons cause de deep lacerations dealing 827 physical damage with each weapon and causing them to bleed for an additional 4,135 physical damage over 9 seconds. That sounds pretty good. That's left bumper. All right. Mathor's journal. All right, let's examine that. Saw a strange light over the water last night. I've seen the auras do some strange things, but I've never seen anything quite like this. Corpses washed up on the shore. They were dressed strangely, as if they were from far-off lands. I have no idea where they came from. Uh, Tilrani said to send them on to Sovngarde with honors, so we did. The shore shivering in the cold, but not wet, just damp. They are lying in the snow. Would have died without care. I dragged the body back down, back to town and stuck it in one of the spare beds. Hopefully the poor soul will survive the night. All right. Right, so that's stealing. Uh, objects with red steel prompts. You can sell stolen items to a fence in any outlaw's refuge. Stolen gold is not confiscated. Okay. I don't really want to steal anything yet. I will get there, uh, eventually. <laughs> Captain Rana. You're the one Holzgar pulled out of the water. I'm glad you're up. I could use your help. 
Uh, how did I get here? A fisherman found you washed up on the beach. He brought you back to town. It's a miracle you survived. So what now? I'm short on good help, and I could use someone capable. Someone like you. You wanted to speak with me? You've seen combat, and I need all the help I can get today. Villagers are scattered across the island. We need to warn them. We sighted a ship offshore. I've sent my troops to investigate. If it's the vanguard of an invasion, well, we'll need to evacuate. All right, where should I start looking? You'll find the people of Bleak Rock all across the island. Darge, the hunter, went to Sky Shroud Barrow. Iman's out at Orkis Hollow with his sister, Rolanda. Sane, my sergeant, is out at Hosen's Folly. Okay, uh, what is Sky Shroud Barrow? It's an old dragon shrine. It's a relic of the Dragon Wars. Some of the villagers claim they saw undead out there. I sent Darge out to get proof. Okay. Um, tell me about Orky's Hollow. Locals claim it's haunted. They dare each other to spend a night inside. It's a silly custom, but a harmless one. Uh, Hazen's Folly, what's that? It's an abandoned mine. A family came out from Stone Falls to work the place. Rumor has it, they're Daedra worshippers. Now some bandits are hunting through the place, and we need to know why. It's an old dragon shrine. It's a relic of the Dragon Wars. All right, so I think some I'll start there. I'll start at Sky Shroud's Barrow. Thank you, friend. After you find Darge, keep looking. The more people you can send back here, the better off we'll be. All right, sounds good. Um, I could ask a few questions. I'll answer what I can. Captain Tilroni's got the villagers thinking I'm an addled netch, but I'm actually a bit smarter than that. Um. Ah, that's all right. Search bookshelf. All right. Um. Just some reading of stuff. I'm not too interested. Just kind of like some, you know, backlog and lore. Oh, hello, dude. Now, can I sell you stuff by any chance? Are you a merchant? Good to see you up and around. Figured you were crossing the bridge to Sovngarde for sure. All right, well, goodbye, apparently. That's all I can say to you. Right, so apparently stolen, blah, 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 stolen stuff can only be sold to certain, um, certain peddlers, I guess. So, letter, to, letter from Tailorani. Uh, Rana. Tired of the excuses yesterday. Training exercise was shameful. I was in charge, but never had these problems. I think Ralunda would make a better soldier than some of these milk drinkers. Get them together. The pact is depending on us. All right. More lore. Oh, provisioning increased it too, huh? Cooking and all right. So I guess I should search all the uh, bookshelves because obviously I can I can raise stuff by looking at the bookshelves. Ah, uh, memento mori. Collection of personal mementos. Right. So at least I don't get caught just looking at stuff. Trousers and tails. <laughs> Torchbug Lantern. Simple glass lantern with holes built into the cat. Perfect for catching torch bugs. Right, I've already read that. I don't know why it's still glowing. Oh, or did I? No, I did not. Right, so let's letter to Rana. 
Captain Rona, in light of your actions, I have no choice but to strip you of your command and rank. Ooh, that sucks. Uh, your time at the Plagiad garrison is over. Uh, tomorrow you will appear before a court martial. They will decide your ultimate fate. May the three have mercy on your withering, writhing soul. The court will not. That sucks. I've been exiled. Commanding a garrison. Okay. Alrighty. So I think I'm going to end this episode here, seeing as it's run quite a while, um, as I kind of expected it to. It's going to be almost a two hour long episode, which is kind of ridiculous, but I want to get through the tutorial part and whatnot, and, you know, obviously with all the searching and, you know, just looking for stuff and, you know, basic leveling and whatnot, it was going to take a while, and uh, I apologize for that, but... Oh, excuse me. Being this is an MMO, like I said, I mean, there's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm going to sk skip through. Obviously, like if I do a whole bunch of fishing stuff or uh, foraging or whatever, you know, I do that would take a while of collecting and whatnot. I'm just going to do that stuff off screen. That way you guys don't have to, you know, sit through hours of me doing the stupid peddly shit. So, I guess in the next episode, we'll actually venture out and do another quest actually venture out into the world of other peoples so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this episode please give it a like uh, if you guys enjoy my let's plays don't hesitate to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next episode of let's play the elder scrolls online but until then guys later